Uh, today, today we're going to do a little video on setting up uh, a panel a JMRI using Layout Editor and using the uh, connections with my layout involving uh, all the necessary tools to build up, start building a panel. This will be a two-part video, so please, uh, you'll have to catch part one and two uh, for it all to come together. Thanks, and hope you enjoy it. So, you would type in 784, and 784, uh, and you would type in the name. In this case, this is G O L D E N to C O L Springs. Okay, then you would click OK, and then you would see it show up here uh, in the column. And it should, may or may not be reading active, depending on what you got going on out there. You may have a car sitting in it, but if it's if it's active, it'll show up. Now, I'm going to close out of this, and we'll go to the bottom here. Let's go here and raise it up. And I'm going to go back to Tools, Tables, and Turnouts. Okay, here's all my turnouts. Right here. One thing I want to tell you, once you get these things entered, entered in here, uh, down at the bottom, make sure that box is checked because you need to see this particular column right here. And they need to, it gives you different uh, choices. You need, on an NC system, you need to have it in the monitoring position. Because if you don't, you won't see it. What's happening, uh, you may see what happens when you click it on a panel, but somebody will do something in the other room and you won't see it. So it needs to be monitoring. So these are all the switches. Now, switches in NC can be numbered, it's an accessory number. It's a can go up to it can go up to a four-digit number, and believe me. It's well over 2,000. 2,006 something, I think, is the end number. The numbering system on this layout is rather simple. If the switch is on the first level coming from the floor, it's 100. If it's on the second level, it's a 200 switch. And if it's on the third level, it's a 300 switch. So, uh, kind of stops any mistakes if you end up with a 214 and a 114, I don't think you're going to end up with, I haven't had anybody throw a switch on anybody on another level yet. So we've been doing this now for about, operating for about two and a half years. Uh, so this again, simply is you go to the bottom where it says add. And again, I have a printed out list of all the switches. Again, hardware address 100 up at the top. It's not NT 100, it's 100 and then the name below it. Demo D -E -S -G. And you hit OK. It should appear in the column. OK? And when it appears in the column you're in good business. Now, you can click on this. I'm going to close this. I can click on this and you can see, well, I guess you can if I don't get the camera up there. <laughs> okay. I can click on this button right here and it throws and it opens the switch. Now, I strongly recommend that as you would do each one, you throw it and you go over there and look at it. Physically go look at it. Make sure it's working. Because sometimes X doesn't communicate with Y. 
So make sure everything's talking to each other and it's just the way you want it. You get, you know, it shows up here as closed. You go out there and look, and it's in the open position. Well, they got a little box right here. I don't know. Let me see. I have a little box over here, and if you pan down, you'll see some check marks here. And basically, what that does, it changes it. It reverses the situation. So. Instead of having to go move that wire and change the polarity, you can do it right there. It'll invert it. Uh, the little machine's telling me we're running out of tape, so we'll be back in a minute. Okay, back, and uh, we've completed, this basically completes the two sensor tables that uh, are necessary to get the panel up and working so you can use it for a dispatches panel. Uh, remember, again, the names are very important because you're going to have to use them again. Uh, when you enter the uh, number in at the top, you just put the number, you don't put the NT. Because when you hit OK, it, it'll put it on the uh, uh, list it will add the NT in automatically all right so what it, why is it NT okay just so you know when you're fooling around with these things NT stands for NCE turnout so if you go up here go to panel pro and you go tools tools, tables, sensors, then you're going to get NS, which stands for NCE sensor. So all of the other companies that the uh, JMRI program supports will have some type of similar nomenclature if you get into this. So we'll close this. What we want to do here first is we want to create a track segment. To do that you have to have a place to anchor it. So you click on anchor point. Then you place the cursor where you want to put the anchor point. This program will not do anything. Well, you can click on this thing all day long and you'll get nothing until you hit the shift key. Right down at the bottom of the screen it kind of gives you directions on how this works okay tells you what you can and can't do so we'll just go up here and we'll hit we clicked at the top where it says anchor point we got it clicked so now we're going to come here we'll hit the shift key and let up and now we have an anchor point then we'll go over here and we'll put another one so I held the shift key down and clicked on right left collect and the anchor point appears so now we're going to go up here and we're going to put the block name Apex Station Track Occupancy Sensor NS792 Two. This is a track segment. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to call it for uh, size purposes, and there are all kind of settings in here you can get into about what size the lines are and all of that, uh, colors and so forth. But I'm just going to click the main line. I'm going to come down here, put my finger on the shift key. I'm going to go here, push the shift key down, and there's the line. You move it back and forth till it's straight, let up, and now there's your block segment. If you remember from the beginning of the video, the station track in front of Apex is occupied. Now, if you so that's the reason it's red. If you go here, 
you see mainline track block see blocks name is there that's a right click on that button you see block it's not hidden you can edit it it gives you all kind of options what you can do up here at the top left hand corner you'll notice it says type solid you can change that there's a lot of things you're going to have I'm not going to get into in here that you can make it do it to come out the way you want to you want it to if you go into JMRI on the left hand side when you click help you'll see and go down to layout editor there's a entire manual telling you how it works many pages long okay this is more you see at the top it says the sensor number here's the color if it's on occupied it's blue if it's occupied it's red uh, dark gray alternate track color I haven't used that one yet but I gave it dark gray and then you just click done alright so this this is the edit block you're going to use this a lot when you get to switches so this is done alright so we created this okay let's give this a try on putting a switch in so we're going to type this the, the uh, turnout name in this case it's going to be Acme Latex and this is a left hand switch and it's a main it's on the main line so we're going to click main line so we go down here and we'll just say that this is the place where it is push the shift key click left click and there's your switch now you can move you can grab hold the little anchor points and you can do all kind of things to this switch to get it to make your grids and all that come out to where it works a lot better for you um, this particular panel I haven't enlarged the line size but you can make those lines bigger but we have to this we now have a, con a device so when I click this you see it goes straight you click it back goes the other way we can throw the switch well we haven't uh, detected this point from here to here is a block if you watch my other video this is what we cut in that switch this is that exact same switch so I'm gonna right click and we're gonna go to edit and the block name is CP 290 A C M E L A T E X and we're going to edit the block and it's NSA 12 track colors blue if it's unoccupied red if it's occupied dark gray for others so this is done now you saw it turn blue done okay let's run back through that again I don't know if it, I had the thing set but let's right click you go to edit you need to type in the name there right there CP 290 then you go here edit block and you make sure that the sensor shows up if not you have to enter it this is sensor NS812 change your colors to what you want and you click done done and now we have a blue switch we're going to go on to the next step okay now we're going to get into one of those little things called double check I have taken locomotive uh, 2699 and it's sitting right outside that block so we're gonna move it forward oh look change went to red so it's just that simple now I can also tell you that while I was out there great case of being gone I'm hitting reverse backing it up now now it's going back to blue I can also tell you that the switch is in the open position and it's in the open position on the board so we know this whole thing here works it's got block detection I can click it and it throws the switch so this is the name of the game 
we put in a track segment we put in a switch this is the, the block there's the switch in the that we were just playing with CP290 Apex uh, Acne Latex Latex uh, you'll notice that I've left gaps between all my block segments this is personal uh, yeah, I can see what I'm doing a lot better if there's a little gap uh, at some point when I kind of feel like I'm going to quit working on this thing and this is it I can go back to the edit, mo edit mode uh, at some point in the future when I decide to get rid of the gaps I can strictly take my cursor in the edit mode grab a hold of the, the arrow and drag it over now there are no uh, spaces uh, on this so I'll drag it back because that's the way I like to keep them. Now, I'm going to get out of the edit mode. Oops. Got it back up here. And we'll take that controller again and roll that engine forward. Now it's in the, it went from the block, it's now on the switch. Now it's going into the next block and it's off the switch. So that's what you want to accomplish. It's relatively simple uh, from the standpoint of once you get the steps down, it'll work. Uh, it works. This is basically three different devices. It's a switch decoder in an NCE system that's a switch it or a switch eight. Uh, and that's for the turnout control and for the block detection. It's a BD20 that uh, goes from the feeder bus wire that you can only wrap it four times. I use 24 gauge wire, wrap it around that hole in that BD20. Uh, I think I showed that one of my videos. Then the connection from the BD20 to the AIOU1. The AIOU1 is connected to the cab bus. The cab bus is connected to the command station. The command station is connected to this computer. This computer's got JMRI on it. JMRI talks to the NCE command station. You build the two turnout, two tables, the turnouts and the sensors, and then you start building your panel. Now we're going to go back and edit this thing, and I hope this helps. Uh, please, if you watch this video, if there's some question you mind, post your question. I'll, I'll either do another video to answer it or I'll answer it directly.